I finally received Ubiquiti's latest and most affordable Pro Max PoE switch. This is the new released Unify Pro Max 16 PoE switch. Today is May 22 and it will take some time to edit and upload this video. The price as of today is $399 for the PoE version and $279 for the non-PoE version. This 16 port switch has 12 gigabit ports with PoE+, plus, 4 2.5 gigabit ports with PoE++, plus plus, and 2 slots for 10 GSFP modules. I'm David Godibadze from IT Solutions Network. If you'd like to hire me for network projects or consulting, you'll find the links below in the description. Both the Pro Max 16 and Pro Max 16 PoE can be mounted in different ways. You can put the switch on a table or mount it on a wall. And if you want to rack mount it, there's an option for $49. The one I have is the PoE version, which comes with 210 watt power adapter that provides 108 watts of total PoE output. And of course, just like any other Pro Max switches, this switch comes with the ether lighting, which, if you don't know, is an RGB color capability on the Ethernet ports. I think it's a nice feature. You can pick any color for the port based on the speed or network. You can make 10 meg red and gigabit yellow if you want. You can pick any colors you want. Also, you can assign the colors based on the network. For example, make ports in IoT network red, guest networks yellow, and user network green. Let's power on the switch and see the ether lighting effect of booting process. From the moment you plug the power, it takes about 2 minutes to fully boot. This is a layer 3 switch, which means it can route the traffic between networks. If you use Ubiquiti router, you have multiple networks there, you can migrate those networks from the router to the switch easily. If you migrate the networks, all the interconnection routing between switch and the router is done automatically during the migration process, which means you don't have to do extra steps like telling the unified routers that the migrated networks are now behind the switch. Together with the layer 3 capabilities, the switch comes with all the standard features you expect from a small business layer 3 switch. DHCP server, DHCP relay agent, dot one x VLAN, voice VLAN, custom profiles, layer 3 network isolation, pretty much anything you want. Typically, when you create the network on the switch or migrate one from the Unify router, you have an option to enable isolation inside the network itself. This will isolate that said network from the rest of the networks. But what if you want to isolate two networks between each other but allow communication with the rest of the networks? For that, you have a switch isolation settings. On this switch, you can find layer 3 network isolation, which allows you to restrict the traffic between specific networks only while allow communication with the rest of the networks. Now, I have to mention that the layer 3 network isolation is just that, isolation of the entire networks. Don't expect to isolate partial range or specific hosts from the entire subnet. That's not going to work on the switch level. For that, you have to have a subnet on the router instead of the switch and use traffic and firewall rules. As I mentioned before, you can create custom profiles and assign those profiles to the switch port on the Pro Max 16. For example, I have created a profile named Users plus VoIP, and any port assigned this profile to will be ready to work with the VoIP phone and the user computer at the same time, and each of them will be on its own subnet. This port can be connected to the PC via IP phone or directly. In both scenarios, the computer will be in the correct VLAN. Thanks for watching.